Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Now in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at another user submitted application that was uh, submitted to me by Hank717 over on osforms.net. Um, and I do want to give a huge thank you to him uh, for sending not only this one, but also the Windows 98 unintended boot CD, which if you did not see that video, uh, I did a video on that application or that operating system that was sent to me by him as well. Uh, there'll be a link up in the cards and the video description if you want to see that. Um, but this is a, another one of these that he offered to send over to me. And this one is actually a Windows 10 and a Windows 8 recovery DVD. And this is called the Sergi Strelik Windows 10 recovery DVD. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that name right because uh, this is actually uh, developed over in Russia by a person or by a group of people. So uh, I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing that name correctly. Um, but yeah, this is, I mean, as he says right down here, that the, you know, this concept is very similar to the WinX Diag video that I did where it you know, basically allows it to fit easily on a CD or on a USB flash drive. You can plug it into any sort of computer and there's a, a ton of different tools and, and things pre-installed on here that allow you to sort of really diagnose uh, a wide array of computer problems. But he also mentions here that one of the things that makes this uh, boot CD a little bit unique is that it's based off of Windows PE as opposed to kind of shrinking down Windows 10 or Windows 8. It's actually based on Windows PE, and the authors have kind of added, you know, all of the different applications and features onto that, you know, to use Windows PE as a base. And he also mentions that using that method basically allows them to fit um, basically four different versions of uh, Windows onto one CD. So there's options in here for uh, Windows 10, uh, uh, 32 and 64 bit, as well as Windows 8, 32 and 64 bit. So that's sort of a, you know, TLDR. I mean, you, you can see that he's, you know, very nicely written out this long description here, kind of, you know, telling a little bit about how that works and kind of why you would want to go with that method as opposed to just shrinking down Windows 10. Um, so again, a huge thank you to Hank717 for sending this out to me. Um, and yeah, let's just go ahead and jump right into it. Uh, this actually already has a Windows 10 64-bit installed on it, but it's not really going to matter anyway because we're going to go ahead and boot from the CD. Um, so it doesn't really matter. And, you know, it's not going to really mess with the hard drive at all. So let's just go ahead and power this on and see what this is all about. So here we go. Here is the menu right here. And you can see right off the bat, it does give us those four different options. So we've got one for uh, the Windows 10 x86, one for Windows 10 x64, which is 64-bit, um, one for Windows 8 uh, x86, as well as one for Windows 8.0 x86 native old PC. That's interesting. Maybe this one is, I mean, we're going to have to, you know, like, really check this out. I'm going to kind of try to go through all of these. I mean, there's not really going to be that much stuff that's different with like the applications and stuff, but it's just kind of what operating system that it is based on. So basically, if you had like an older machine that could run Windows 8, but couldn't run Windows 10 for whatever reason, you have that option in here to kind of um, go ahead and, you know, just like pick uh, what version that you want to start. So I guess we're just going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and start Windows 10 x64 because this is a 64 bit VM. So I'm going to start that. And here we go, starting Windows PE. And we do have a mouse cursor in there. We've got this, uh, you know, nice little background as well. And yeah, we're going to see what this is, you know, all about. We're going to see what it asks me. We're going to see what it has on here. And I'm going to try to go through those four different versions and see what differs between them. So you can see right there, it, it just came up like it was loading. It's going to be applying some settings. And yeah, here we go. So here's all of these tools that we have. We have a, you know, taskbar down here. I believe we do have, yeah, a third party start menu program. So we don't have like the regular uh, Windows 10 start menu. And you can see this is uh, the website right here where um, you, you, know, you can actually go and, you know, download this from the website uh, if you want to go ahead and check this out. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, we're going to go ahead into system properties here. Or actually, I guess they've kind of modified this menu as well. I, I want to um, change the uh, resolution. So is there a control panel on here? Let's see if there is. I don't even know if there is a control panel. There is a tool down here in the taskbar that allows you to change the screen resolution, but it's only allowing me to change it to 800 by 600 or 1024 by 768. Uh, I can't go any higher than that. Like if I try to go to 1920 by 1080, it just doesn't do anything. So I'm thinking that might have to be, you know, with some sort of like driver issue or something, even when I click on load drivers, it doesn't do anything. But again, it, it's really not a huge deal because if you're using this in a 
recovery environment to fix uh, a computer problem that you might be having it's not really that necessary but you can see we've got all of these shortcuts some of these are to like some standard uh, windows programs like for you know we've got setup down here we've got task manager and uh, device manager this is actually the old windows nt task manager not the new one in windows 10 so that's kind of interesting um but we've you know got some tools here i'll just kind of go through and just briefly tell you what these are uh, the uh, disk part script right here is basically when you run this, it, sh it shows you. I mean, I guess I, I can just run it here. Uh, when you run this, it, it shows you what disks that it was able to find that are online. So this was kind of a, a or this is kind of like a tool to see um, if your uh, hard disk is even being recognized by the system. We've got Boot Ice right here, which is a, a tool to fix like you know like the master boot record and you know any sort of like boot issues and also modify. Uh, like the boot uh, menu so you've got a lot of stuff in there a lot of options we've got an option to connect the network drive uh, you know a, a tool to import wireless LAN profiles we've got the uh, MS dart Explorer uh, we've got you know network connections uh, two different setup tools uh, a few uh, other network tools here we've got a program where you can uh, configure the RAM disk so you can increase or decrease the size and um, kind of you know configure that all in here We've got a uh, shortcut which basically restarts uh, like the shortcut. So I guess if you had added some extra programs and they weren't showing up, you could run this. Um, we've got something pretty cool here. This is called the uh, remote registry, which basically what it allows you to do is um, edit the registry on a like certain partition. So like let's say you had multiple Windows partitions installed and you want to edit the registry on one of them and you can't boot into it. Well, you can just go into here. So let's say I want to edit the registry on the C drive. I just go in here and I go to the Windows folder. I click on OK. And, and then it's going to pull the uh, Windows registry off of that C drive and allow me to edit it right here rather than me having to boot into it. You know, so that's uh, definitely you know really useful for fixing registry problems. We've got a uh, shortcut to restart Windows Explorer. Again, we've got you know a, a few different setup tools, a few uh, default Windows tools. We have a, uh, a um, version of Total Commander. So yeah, just a lot of stuff in here. Uh, and this isn't even like the whole thing. I mean, when we go into the Start menu here and in All Programs, this is where most or really all uh, of the programs are. And you can see we've got all of these different categories. We've got stuff for antivirus, backup, and restore. We've got stuff for like file managers. You've got a billion different, I mean, not, not a billion. You've got like five different file managers here. Um, we've got a whole folder for formatting tools. Uh, folder with a bunch of like hard disk tools um, so really just a ton of stuff that you can use to really fix um, I don't want to say any computer problem because there's obviously stuff that this isn't going to be able to fix but uh, a wide array of like Windows related issues you know like if you have like you know some sort of virus some sort of malware on uh, on the hard drive and you can't boot into it um, or if it's just like somehow corrupt there's a there's a lot of tools in here uh, that you can use to fix that um, as for like what Winver says about it, if I run Winver here, um, I don't even know if it's gonna. Yeah, it, I guess it's not like a run box. Can we run Winver? No, Winver isn't even in here. So let's go ahead and run CMD, which the CMD is blue by the way, which is kind of interesting. Uh, if we run, uh, if we run Ver here, you can see that it's uh, you know Microsoft Windows version 10.0.16299.15. So. It is based off of a regular or, um, version of Windows PE. Um, and if I open up the task manager here, uh, this is what it says in the uh, about dialog. So this is Windows 10 1709. Um, and it's you know calling itself the Win PE 10 Sergi Strelic X64 operating system. So it doesn't have, you know, there's a like a, a few lines, like a few strings that have been edited. Um, it's not registered to anybody. So you know, they've done a lot of modifications in here, and yeah, this is pretty cool. I, I do believe this can fit on a regular DVD. Yes, this can actually fit on a regular DVD, which is kind of the whole point of it. Uh, the disk image file is just under 3 gigs in size, so that's very easy to fit on a, you know, regular DVD or on a USB flash drive, you know, just depending on what you have lying around. Um, there's also some tools in the zip file that you download uh, from the website that uh, basically allow you to kind of burn it to a DVD or... Um, create a uh, bootable USB so it's got some tools in there for you that allow you to do that but I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, kind of shut this down and I want to see we'll go ahead and just restart here I want to see what's a, like, like what's different from this one uh, and then like the Windows 8 one so 
can go ahead and restart that um, and we'll boot right back up so I mean I think that the x86 and 64-bit versions of Windows 10 are gonna be kind of the same I mean one's uh, just gonna be based on or, or they're really just gonna be based on different architectures so one's you know for 32-bit and one's for 64-bit so we're gonna go ahead and start uh, I'm gonna do both of these because you know one says native old PC and runs uh, one just says Windows 8 so we're gonna start Windows 8 here and see uh, what differs from this compared to the Windows 10 version uh, like if, if there's any tools that they've added to the Windows 8 one I don't really know um, you can see so far it looks pretty much identical you know exactly identical really to uh, what it was doing before so it says Windows PE running wait and then it's gonna come up with uh, you know like the taskbar and the start menu and all your programs and everything so it's loading in the applications now Okay, so this already looks a little bit different. Uh, we have most of the same icons. Some of them are missing because there was like two or three uh, on, on this row over here. So there's a couple ones that are missing. Um, and yeah, so now it's calling itself Windows 8 PE Strelic Build 9200. So we've got a um, interesting start menu here. This is not what comes with Windows 8, obviously, because Windows 8... Um, I don't even know if this is 8.1. This might not even be Windows 8.1. Let's actually... See if we can do WinVer. No, we can't even do WinVer. So can we do Task Manager here and check? So yeah, this is uh, Windows 8 version 6.2. So this is not 8.1. This is just regular Windows 8. Of course, it's build 9200. So um, yeah, we have kind of like a arrow-ish theme going on. I mean, this is not, at least from what I remember, this doesn't look like, I mean, it, it kind of looks like it, like the one that is in Windows 8, but there's it just definitely has a little bit of a different appearance to it. Um, so yeah, we've got a, uh, some sort of like third party program. This might actually be, uh, developed by them. I don't know. And the uh, task bar here, which looks just a little bit different as well. So again, most of the same programs over here, we've got, um, this same thing. I actually totally forgot to show this, but this same thing was in the, the windows 10 one. Um, but this is kind of, uh, pretty much the same thing as what you get in here. It kind of, um, shows you all of the different programs you have but you can also obviously run them all from the start menu right here and let's go ahead and just go into computer and see uh, how this differs so yeah i don't know what it is this just looks way different to me i mean than what you would normally get in uh, windows 8 it looks you know a little bit different obviously it's been very minimalized so there's been a lot of things that have been taken out like i can't you know view any other folders when i click there um, there's nothing over here on the side. I mean, it's literally just like a file browser. There's not any other um, things that are built into here. So we've got, you know, local disk C and everything. So, um, yeah, really, I guess we can just go ahead and run. I mean, I'm kind of trying to see. Oh, yeah, let's uh, let's run the control panel and see if that's in here. So, yes, the control panel is still in here. And I can go through and browse and... Pretty much it's the same story here as uh, what it was in the, in the Windows 10 one. It's got uh, all of the regular options, but some of them are just missing and they just have like the generic folder icon and you can't do anything when I click on it. So, um, yeah, I mean, that is really pretty much it. I mean, I didn't want to go too much in depth into this because this would be like a two hour video. I just kind of want to do like a basic overview of and kind of show you guys what this is about and what you can really do with this which i mean for the most part it's pretty self-explanatory it's you know one of these very awesome uh, bootable dvds where you have a ton of tools a, a ton of options i mean again just look at all of the you know different programs and and uh, tools that you have in, uh, in here at your disposal to fix um any or again i don't want to say any sort of computer issue but a wide uh, array of computer issues that you might be having there's a, a lot of different programs in here for that so that is pretty much going to wrap it up for this video i hope that you guys enjoyed if you did definitely be sure to give it a thumbs up be sure to subscribe down below if you want to see more videos like this in the near future and as always i just want to thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video